Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Alex. I make new videos every week and you can click this little red button if you want to subscribe. I do videos on beauty, fashion, lifestyle, just about everything. But today I am very excited to announce my new series. So I wanted to do something on my channel that really focuses on one product for an entire video because I feel like I do lifestyle favorites or makeup favorites or tutorials and they focus on so many different products that I wanted to do some kind of series that focus just on one thing and I could really go in depth about it. So welcome to the first episode in Foundation Fridays. So every other Friday or every two Fridays, I'm going to test out a brand new foundation, something that's new on the market or going to be released soon and give you guys a first impression, a full day wear. I'm going to check in multiple times throughout the day and kind of just give you like all the info about the products. So if you are excited about this new series, give this video a thumbs up and you can leave me comments down below letting me know what foundation you want me to try out next, what you really want to see on here, or what you want these videos to entail, what you really want to see in these videos. So I am very excited today for my first episode is going to be the new Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Cushion Stick. So the regular Estee Lauder Double Wear is like huge. It's a cult favorite. Everyone loves it for its super full coverage, matte look. Great if you have any kind of problem skin. But they took that formula, they changed it around a little bit, and they came out with the nude. So it's supposed to be more of a light to medium coverage. It's supposed to give you a really healthy glow and kind of just give you that polished, even look without looking too makeup-y. So I think it sounds really cool. I was really excited to try it. I like the package. I like that it's something different. I like that it combines the makeup and the applicator in just one product. It comes in 17 different colors. So there's tons of colors and it is $39.50 on Nordstrom's website. That's where I got mine. I got it in the shade 2W1 Dawn. So we can see how that looks. I'm usually like a medium, like 127 in Makeup Forever, like a medium golden undertone. So yeah, let's go ahead and test this out. All right, I brought you guys in really close. Here's my face before. All that I have on right now is a little moisturizer from Caudalie and I'm excited to test this out. So here's kind of what the package looks like. You pull, pull it off, it's supposed to. Oh, wrong way. So you pull off that end, this little gold cap, and you're left with this little cushion here. There's a little hole in there, and it says just to twist it up. Oh, and out it comes, just like that. So you're supposed to dot it all over your face and then use this cushion to blend it out. So let's go ahead and do that. Twist up a little more. And um, on Nordstrom's website, there was directions on how you can clean this cushion too. So I'm just dotting it. It looks like the color will be pretty good because it looks like dotted on. Now I'm gonna use this in circular motions to blend it out. So normally for me, if a product comes with an applicator, I don't even bother with it but I wanted to give it a shot and try it out. But I feel like normally for me, I just always like to use a brush just cause I'm quicker with it. It's easier for me. But if you don't want to buy a brush and you just want to buy one thing, this is a good idea. So one thing that I'm noticing right off the bat is that this differs from the regular double wear, obviously in coverage, but also I remember when I used to use the double wear like years ago, it would dry so quickly that you'd literally have to do one side, blend it and then do the other. Cause if you tried to do your whole face, it would just dry so quickly. So this is definitely a lot more like glowy, the formula is a lot more lightweight where you do have some time to work with it. But I just feel like this cushion's a little too small for me. Like it just takes too long. I feel like I'm just sitting here and blending and blending and blending. So I'm gonna put a little bit more on because I always do usually like two layers of foundation. So just with one light layer here, I haven't completely blended it in, but I do feel like it kind of just looks like a really nice tint of moisturizer. It doesn't give me too much coverage, but it doesn't give me no coverage. It really evened out my skin. It just didn't really like cover pimples and spots and stuff. So I'm hoping one more light layer will give me that nice medium coverage that I like. But if you like lightweight, this is definitely gonna be perfect for like a day at the beach or a day at the pool. That's kind of what I was wanting to get out of this foundation was like a lightweight summer glowy look. Sometimes I feel like with dewy foundations, they make them really full coverage and then it's like super full coverage and wet looking and it's like weird combo. So for a dewy foundation, I do like a lighter coverage just to give it more of a natural look. Definitely easier for me to blend it in with my brush though. This brush is the It Cosmetics for Ulta number 101. 
So this is what it looks like with two light layers. I feel like it gives me a nice medium coverage. It's a very like healthy, glowy look, just as described. Honestly, it like is just as they described it on the website, light to medium with a healthy looking glow. And that's what I really wanted. It's also supposed to have really good benefits for your skin and be really healthy for your skin. I look, I feel like it just looks really pretty and really natural. So what I'm gonna do is finish up the rest of my face. I'll share with you guys what concealer and powder I use if you're curious. And then I'm gonna check in with you guys throughout the rest of the day. So let me go ahead and finish my face and I will be right back. Okay, the rest of my face is complete. I kept the look natural because I do kind of wanna go off the foundation. If I was wearing a super full coverage foundation, I would do more of a glam look. But this is a natural look, good for the daytime. So I hope that you guys enjoy this so far. I did wanna quickly let you know that for concealer, I have on just a little bit of the Makeup Forever Ultra HD under my eyes and around my nose. And I did set the concealer with the RCMA No Color Powder. So that's all I have on the rest of my face. No blush, no highlighter, but I did do a little bit of the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and Light Medium to kind of warm up my skin. So that's all, the only other things I have on my face. I wanted to keep it really simple for you guys. So I'm going to go about my day, do a couple hours. I have to eat, I have to clean. I have someone coming over to install blinds in this room. So I'm just gonna go about my day and I'll check in with you guys in a couple hours. It's been about four hours, so I wanted to update you guys on the foundation. I've just been hanging out around the house. I did go outside for a little bit, let the dogs out, and walked around the block, so I have gotten in the heat a little bit, and I was just looking at my skin. And I really like the formula. I feel like it's definitely lasting. My lips definitely need to touch up, but the foundation, I really do feel like it's lasting really well. It claims to last eight hours, so I'm gonna give it four more hours, wash it off tonight after dinner, but so far so good. I think I wanna go outside a little bit more, just so you guys that are like walking to and from work or out and about all day, you know that it will really last on you or not. But so far, really liking it. I didn't love the applicator, that cushion stick, really. That wasn't my favorite, but the formula I really like so far. So. Yeah, I'll go ahead and insert a picture of what it looks like right now with natural light so you guys can see what it looks like in photo too. And I'll take one with a flash too so you guys can see. Yeah, but it flashes really well. It photographs really well. It doesn't like give you like that white flashback or anything. It just looks super natural. So, so far, so good. Check in with you guys in four more hours. Hey guys, I wanted to give you a final check-in. It's just about eight o'clock right now, and I have put this foundation to the test. So I went outside, I went to the pool, I laid in the sun for like two hours. I was reading a book, so probably why you can see my bathing suit underneath here, but I really laid in the sun. I had my sunglasses on. I did get a couple like sunglass marks, but I just kind of tapped it in. It was fine. The foundation did not budge at all. The lighting is a little warm right now because the sun's starting to set, but it really doesn't look shiny or oily. Um, if I were to go out right now to like dinner or something, I wouldn't even touch up. Like it really does look super, super good still. So my overall thoughts on the foundation, I think that double wear name comes in because it lasts so long, just like the original double wear. So it's really gonna give you that eight, nine, 10 hours of wear. It lasts all day. Don't even have to worry about touch ups. So I really, really love that. I also love the coverage. I love how it's lightweight, it's natural. It gives you a healthy looking glow without looking shiny or oily. Keep in mind, my skin is pretty normal. In the winter months, it gets more dry, but right now it's just pretty normal. So if you are oily, you might wanna touch up the powder here and there, but I really, really love it. The only thing I didn't like about the foundation was the applicator. I just don't see myself ever using that, but that's just because I am more comfortable using a brush or like an actual beauty blender sponge. But overall, I'm gonna give this foundation like a four out of five because to me, it's really all about the formula. Like if the applicator sucks or the packaging sucks, that's annoying but the formula is what I really bought the foundation for. And I feel like it's at a pretty good price, $39.50 for Estee Lauder, which is a really good brand. I don't know, I'm just really impressed. So I hope that you guys enjoyed my first episode in my Foundation Friday series. Again, leave me requests down below in the comments which one you wanna see next. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I make new videos every single week and give this one a thumbs up if you liked it. Bye.